the Old Testament record on healing. Originally, man was created sinless and healthy in body, soul, and spirit. Death entered the world as a result of the sin of the first man and woman, Genesis 3. We also learned that, when the curse of death came upon man, Satan entered man's genetic system, and began his destructive mission of sickness, disease, bondage, and death. But in this dark moment of history, the first promise of spiritual and physical healing was given. In Genesis 3 verse 15 God said, that the seed of the woman, would bruise the head of Satan. This seed was a prophetic promise about Jesus who, through his earthly ministry, death, and resurrection, would defeat Satan. The Genesis record contains two accounts of divine healing. In Genesis 17 verse 18 to 19 God promised to heal Sarah's barrenness. In Genesis 21 verse 1 to 7 this was fulfilled. Genesis 20 verse 17 records the healing of Abimelech. Can I have your attention for a few seconds? Before we delve deep into this video, please help us spread the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ by supporting our Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash You will instantly gain access to over 180 Christian videos and over 400 videos about billionaire biographies and over 140 personal development videos and over 450 verse and quotes images among other goodies. If you are watching this video and you have never received Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior I'll help you do that right now because it is for this very purpose that we create these videos. Giving your life to the Lord is the best decision you can ever make in your entire life on earth. I invite you to make Jesus your Lord today. In Romans 10 verse 9 the Bible says that, If thou confess with thy mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in thine heart that God raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Please, pray this prayer. Dear Heavenly Father, I believe with all of my heart that Jesus is Lord. I believe that he died on the cross, and that on the third day God raised him from the dead. I believe that Jesus is the Lord of my life from this day onward. I'm now born again. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Well done for making this prayer. You are now born again. Attend a Bible-based church and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us on Patreon to keep learning the truth of God's word as you become an excellent Christian every day. Our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash Link is also in the description. Let's continue with our today's topic. In the book of Exodus, disease and divine healing more clearly enter the biblical record. After the deliverance of Israel from Egypt, the people marched for several days without finding water. When they finally came to Mer, they could not drink of the water because it was bitter. God showed Moses a tree which, when cast into the waters, made the waters sweet. Following this God revealed himself as healer of his people. He said, If thou wilt diligently hearken to the voice of the Lord thy God, and wilt do that which is right in his sight, and will give ear to his commandments, and keep all his statues, I will put none of these diseases upon thee, which I have brought upon the Egyptians. For I am the Lord that healeth thee. Exodus 15 verse 26. The more accurate translation of this is I am the Lord your physician. This indicates a habitual, continuing action. Because this promise was first given to Israel in a specific situation, some say it applies only to them, and that Christians cannot claim it. We must remember, however, that the names of God are revelations of his nature and character, and God does not change. If he was by nature a physician and healer then, he is the same today. Other specific references to healing in Exodus are the healing of Moses' leprous hand, Exodus 4 verse 1 to 7, and God's promise to take away sickness from among his people, Exodus 23 verse 25. The book of Leviticus might be called the healthcare manual of the Bible. God reveals regulations regarding the treatment of disease. For an example see Leviticus 13 verse 1 to 46, Leviticus 14 verse 1 to 32, and gives directives regarding healthy living. See Leviticus 15 verse 1 to 33 for an example. The book of Numbers records the healing of the leprosy of Miriam and Aaron, Numbers 12 verse 1 to 15, and the healing of plagues that affected Israel, Numbers 16 verse 41 to 50 and Numbers 21 verse 5 to 9. Deuteronomy 28 is a very important chapter related to healing. It explains the relation of obedience to physical health. Other passages in Deuteronomy stressing this truth include Deuteronomy 7 verse 15, Deuteronomy 29 verse 22, Deuteronomy 30 verse 20. Mano's wife was healed of barrenness in Judges 13 verse 2 to 24. There are several records of healings in the book of 1 Kings. There are stories about a man with the withered hand in 1 Kings 13 verse 4 to 6, and the raising of a dead child in 1 Kings 17 verse 17 to 24. The record continues in 2 Kings with the healing of a child by Elisha in 2 Kings 4 verse 8 to 37, and the healing of Naaman in 2 Kings 5 verse 1 to 14. Study also the case of King Azariah in 2 Kings 15 verse 1 to 12. From the healing of Hezekiah in 2 Kings 21 to 11 we learn that God can heal terminal illness and add years to life. See also 2 Chronicles 32 verse 24 to 26 and Isaiah 38 verse 1 to 12 16. We also learn from 2 Kings 13 verse 14 and 21 that death comes to all men, even those with the ministry of healing. 
The great prayer of repentance related to healing is recorded in 2 Chronicles 6 verse 26 to 31. 2 Chronicles 20 verse 9 promises that God hears when we cry in affliction. In 2 Chronicles 16 you can read the story of Asa who died because he did not seek healing from God. His sin was not going to medical doctors but ignoring God and his healing power. In 2 Chronicles 26 you can read about his eyes leprosy and in 2 Chronicles 30 verse 20 of the healing of the people through the prayers of Hezekiah. The book of Job, especially chapters L and 2, permits us to see behind the scenes to identify the source of Job's problems, including his sickness. Study the book of Job to learn about his response in the time of sickness, the reaction of his friends, and how God healed and delivered him. Can you please do us a favor? If you have been blessed by this video, please leave a comment, like this video, share this video, subscribe to this channel, and invite at least 200 plus souls, it could be family and friends, to visit Discofeth YouTube channel, so that they may hear the gospel of our dear Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, and be born again. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, and support us on Patreon, our Patreon page is www.patreon.com slash Link is also in the description. Thank you and God bless you.